What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vancouver Canucks and it is a big day here. Big day. We got to do some wheeling and dealing to try to get a cup contending team for this year and I think we can do it. Now there's a few things that need to be addressed and I'm going to start off. Um, I did read all you guys' comments. So, all right. This thing about Giroux, uh, sorry, not Giroux, Gaudreau here. He jumped back up to a 90. So he's back up to a 90 overall, which means his value should be better as well. And it's almost like, why do we trade the guy? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. He, he didn't seem to click well with, you know, Bear, um, Berchi and Horvat. I don't know, something just felt weird. You know what I mean? So we could use that value to move him, get some other pieces back, and save money. So that we can try to uh, sign Stamkos here. All right, so if we move Gaudreau out. Okay, I'll show you who I'm. I'm no, not not this team. I'll show you who I'm looking at. And no, 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 get out of here. Oops, wrong way. All right, so who I'm looking at here for this? It's a team like Chicago, and a player like Patrick Kane. Now, he might decline a bit, but at 35, 88, I'm looking at this guy for a second line anyway. And we're going to make him retain all this salary too, okay? So, the reason I'm looking at him for a second line is because I'm thinking we got to, all right, he could play first line. Don't get me wrong. He could do first line or second line so long as he doesn't decline too much. I don't think he will from this point. He might decline a bit, but I don't think it'll be a huge, huge amount. Even if he does, he's still got great poise, great offensive categories, and we're going to only be paying him like four and a half mil, Okay. And that's also to save money. Now, um, it comes between Horvat moving on first line or second line. That, that'll be a choice we can make at the beginning of the season. But we could also get, like, we could also get all this for Patrick Kane, most likely. They want to give it all up, too. We could stock up on some picks. Um, refill. I'm going to take that fourth, too. Restock some of our, um, our prospect pools, so to speak. And this team shouldn't be that great of a team this year, uh, the Blackhawks. They're, Patrick Kane was the highest overall player. They're going to have Gaudreau now, sure, but they don't really have anyone else to work with them. I don't think they'll be a great team. I can even check their goaltender situation. So we should be getting some good picks here. Even if not, it's a hell of a lot of assets to be able to move. They don't even really have a great goaltending duo. 86-83 is okay, to be honest, but it's not amazing. So if we can get all these picks, that would be tremendous. <laughs> they have our third in there. Um... Yeah, so I'm thinking this, all right? And then I'll, I'll show you what else I'm thinking about. We don't want to make that move yet. We want to try to sh secure Stamco. So I'm going to pull the trigger on this. It's uh, it, it's hard to give a good draw, I know. But at the same time, he didn't seem to gel well with some of this. Patrick Kane's a guy who I think he could step in and do whatever anywhere, all right? And, you know, Gaudreau is good. I don't know. For some reason, they just didn't play well. I don't know. He's good with Hamilton, which sucks. But you know what? I think Patrick Kane could be good with anyone. He's got one year left on that deal. I'm going to pull the trigger on this. Okay, so we got a first, second, third, a fourth, plus Patrick Kane, retained salary for Johnny Gaudreau. All right, now it's a lot to give up, I understand, but we, we needed to save money, all right? We needed to be able to save that money because this next move is to try to throw everything we can at Stamkos, all right? And... And I'm thinking, okay, I'll, I, first, before we do that, I'm thinking, I, I also want to check about this possible other trade I was thinking of making. I was thinking about moving Kemp because even if we put him on the wing like someone was suggesting, I still don't think he does well. He just didn't produce well at all. So he's got some decent value on him. And I'm thinking we get yet another older type player because we, th this is a kind of all-in for us. All right, Malkin. Now, he might decline a bit more as he's 37, but if we get him to retain salary, all of it, as much as we can, and get some picks back for him, we, again, restock some of our pick pools. We could have a big draft here again, get some more young guys to go along with our elites to see if, you know, some of them might not pan out. You know, Sarenheim or Gianta, they're their third liners, basically. So if we do this, um, how much is he worth now? Hold on. I, I don't even know. <laughs> um, it's like... 4.4 we're getting and we're so we're saving a few hundred thousand like with this move plus we can get some more picks and things like that and yeah so here i'll show you let's also take 
Oh, yeah, they, they don't want to give up their picks. Well, give me your first anyway. I don't think we can get their first. Yeah, I don't think we can get that first off him. That's a bit too much, but we could probably get a second. Yeah, we could eat, we could probably get a second off that too. So Malkin retains salary plus another second for Kemp here. Yeah, and we should, like I said, save a tiny bit of money for that. And then we should we could be able to sign Stamkos with all that. But uh, that we're only saving a little bit of money. Maybe I want to try to get Stamkos before I make this move. Yeah, I might want to do that. Let me let me do that. Let me get Stamkos first before I pull the trigger on that trade. All right, because we freed up. I think we freed up enough space. I'll just throw everything I have at him. To be honest, I'll give him. I'll offer him all the money I can here. Oh, God. Yeah, we all, almost 16 mil that we could offer the guy. I'm hoping it's enough. I really am hoping it's enough. We'll throw everything we can at him to get him for one year here. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay, that's as much as we could offer him. It's one mil, about one mil over that he wants. Now, hopefully no one else comes in and swoops him. So, that's all we could offer him. We're going to try to sign him and hopefully, like hell, we get the guy. All right, let's, let's see if this will work here. We're going to advance a few days. I don't really care about prospects, anything like that. I just want to try to lock in Stamkos here. Uh, please, 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 please. Yes! Okay. We got Stamkos. We got Stamkos. Now we can pull the trigger on that next trade if we want to. And I think that'd be a good idea. All right. So this is some all-in moves right here. And uh, you know what? I think it could work. I really do. I really think this could work for us. Um, now Kemp again, I think we should, I think we should move, go for that. Cause the thing about Malkin is he could play wing or center. So that'll all depend on where we have Horvat. If we put him onto the bottom pairing, then he could, you know, then he can, or it's bottom pairing. If you put him on, if you put Horvat on the second line, then he can play, um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then Malkin can play wing and we can have Kane on the first line and we can mix and match throughout the year. See what works. You know, not that's none of that's really a big deal. Um, there's plenty of room here for, um, what am I trying to say? God damn for being able to work with things. I don't know. I'm losing it. I'm just really excited. We just got a uh, stamp coast. So we could do that. Still have a bit of money to work with. We don't really need to sign anyone else. Carry price. <laughs> I don't think, no, I mean, we're, we're set for goalies. I just, I just wanted to check out where he is because he's on the block. I just want to see where he's at, see if what some other team could pick him up. Oh, no, he's just trash, yeah. All right, Um. okay. Picks here. We could pick up a second and maybe I'll get another fourth or something like that. I'll pick up as much as I can off of this deal. I don't think I can get a third as well. That's highly unlikely, but I'll try anyway. I'll try a second and a third here. Try to get as much back for Kemp. Making him retain as much salary as we can. And. Yep. Okay. All right. We'll try that. I Oh, oh, we'll be over the. Really? How would we be over the league maximum salary cap? Interesting. I think I think it has to do with. Okay. Maybe we can't make that move go through. Because it's saying we'd be over a salary cap. And I think that has to do with when we have retained salary. I guess they still hit the cap at a certain amount. Okay. So that makes a bit of sense. And I don't really... I wouldn't really want to give anyone else up. Although... We could pull the trigger on giving up Sarenheimo or Gianta. The thing about Sarenheimo was he was pretty decent in the playoffs. He, he was playing on second line. But he, he did... You know, he got... He got some points there. He's got good offensive stats. But if he's on the third line, defense stats aren't too great. But the thing is, I'd have to get a third liner who'd be just as good. Yeah, this would be tough to do. I don't know if I actually don't know if this will work at this point. Because if it's saying... Yeah, if it's saying we're gonna, we can't do it because of salary cap, even though it's clearly showing us below... I might have to wait on that and see... Yeah, I might just have to wait on this until after we do the jump and then maybe i could do some wheeling and dealing to be able to make that work but right now i can't send you anyone up or down if that even matters so i i can't know for sure if that'll work and 
if we have to use Kemp, we can use Kemp. I'm not a huge fan of it, but maybe he does okay on that second line. I'm not seeing it. I don't think he will, but that's fine. Okay, um, I think we should just go to the... Uh, I think that's everything we're really going to do here. So I think we should start simming the next season. I'm going to start getting the lines figured out, send guys up and down and everything like that. So I will see you guys then. Okay, now these are the uh, precursor lines I've set up because we might still want to pull the trigger on that trade. Yeah, Kane did drop a couple overall. I was only expecting him to drop one overall, but like I said, what is dropping off really is skating physical. That's when they start really declining. I mean, his physical especially, but he's still, look at all those offensive stats. They're still killer. Shot power, yeah, sure dropped a bit, but awareness, passing, um, poise is still incredible. And then, of course, they still got Besser on that line to be the, the scorer, scorer guy. And... Um, we got Kemp in here for now. I want to check on Malkin and see if he did, if he declined a bit too much here, but uh, I'm not too sure if he did. But yeah, Patrick Kane, he did go to a top nine, which makes sense. I mean, he's 35. Uh, Malkin might have, might end up as the same thing, in which case, if it, it would work, man. It could work on that second line. We'll have to check his overall here, but that's what this is what I'm looking at for the first line um, right now. Now, we could check around us but the, the thing about the uh like the natural like first liner dudes i couldn't find anyone who fit the uh like i know you said to trade Gaudreau in like a pick for like a, a really good first liner i couldn't find anyone that would fit that to play on like the right wing side or even yeah i i just could not i literally couldn't find anyone like that so i had to go with someone on the older side um but yeah, all right, so I'm going to show you the rest. We got Varlamov in here because he's actually listed to be a, uh, on the third line scoring line as the 83 now. So we're going to put him right there. Latang is listed to be depth, so we're going to shuffle him in and out. We got Delorier scratched right now because um, he actually has AHL potential. It was kind of weird. He's 33. He's already got the AHL potential, so we might be dropping off. And we got still got Kreider in here. Um, we're, we are missing, what's his name, uh, Saren Heimel, but I think he and Latang can switch out. Uh, it's going to be tough. Delorier might be relegated to depth. We could switch out Latang and that, um, Saren Heimel guy on this fourth line because I want to make sure that Varlamov grows. Remember, this is an all-in year, but at the same time, we got to make sure we bank on these elites to, to get better and stuff like that. So depth is kind of always tricky to do, but I think with a guy this good, look at his offensive stats, his defense isn't that great, but I think he should start growing this year. Now I'm thinking I might... Like, I'm so torn about whether or not I want to have him play third line depth or do fourth line depth. So, you guys might have to let me know about that as we continue here. But, yeah, uh, Gianta, he's, he's got decent defensive stats for a sniper. So, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with him playing on that third line. You know what I mean? Uh, Meyer's playing the center because he's 74 faceoffs. It's decent. Um, yeah, I mean, we could move a guy for someone like that. But at the same time, I kind of think he might be good for the playoff run and stuff like that. I got, I'm, t I'm trying to think of both the future and the now, which is tricky as hell to do. But um, let me show you our defensive core as well. Everything the same, but look, as I was trying to hopefully plan for, Stoll did jump into that top six role. He's got tremendous offensive skills and pretty damn good defense. And he and Trampkin should be able to lock that down. Stoll could be that puck mover. And I, now we have a situation where we have, you know, on this line, we have an offensive guy and a, two offensive guys, really, but they can both play some decent defense. A puck mover and his solid defensive counterpart. Yule Levy's not bad at defense either. And then we got, you know, the defensive defenseman and a puck mover here. So I'm liking that a bit more. Goaltender, I didn't even check on. Okay, Maltby. No, he didn't jump up. Okay, I was thinking he might have jumped, but no. It looks like Maltby is going to be kind of capped out here around that 84 area, but that's all right. I actually need to check on how Otterize is. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot to do the, uh, um, <laughs> I didn't do any of the, uh, these lines, basically, so I'll have to check on that, but I want to do, first thing, Otterize is an 84, he's listed to be a backup, alright, so I, I, I figured that was gonna happen, Otterize is probably gonna be the guy we go to in the future here, but we can have a, we're probably gonna have a, a, a nice little 84-84 battle going on here with our goaltenders, now that you could argue, this is the that's the weak point here for this season. Um, Pumanovs, I think we're gonna send down. Yeah, I think we just got to do that and bring up Otter Eyes. Pumanovs is, you know, he's not he's good. Don't get me wrong, like he's a good backup, but at the same time, we gotta we gotta invest in these two younger guys here. Now it might hurt his morale, but it's we're gonna have to deal with that here. All right, so yeah, what am I doing here? All right, time to. The HL first. Okay, hold on. 
I got I, I I know I got I still got a lot to fix here, but I just go wanted to give you guys a rundown of what I was thinking about. So a little stick Puminov's in there. Alrighty, and now we can go to the NHL. Malpy can start and we'll throw him now. They should get a relatively equal amount of games played here. But it's looking more like Mal Maltby is gonna cap out around that um 84 mark. It's just he didn't grow, you know. So he's still good. His reflexes category is good. But if Otterize is gonna make a jump in this year, why not hand the role to him? Maltby can be a solid backup of the future. We have him on a decent contract to be a backup. Um and Otterize, he's got two years left on a rookie deal, so we're solid for cap wise and everything like that. So we're going to have two 84s, but remember Maltby was really good even as an 84. So I think our simulation should be okay, especially with our defensive core here. And yeah, it's going to, it's going to be weird. Don't get me wrong. It is going to be weird, but let me check on Malkin again. I want to see, I want to see if he is, would be worth going for here or if we should give Kemp a chance. I just want to see. Okay. It's going to be tricky, I know, but it could be worth it here. And I don't know, again, we might not be able to even afford the thing. So, let's see where Malkin is. 86, so he's basically the same as K. Now, he might drop more over the year. I want to see if we could make that work, or if it's just going to be a, another cap issue where it just literally can't work because it's just too much cap hits against us with the retained salaries, which might be the case, and in which case, moving guys up and down will be an issue, maybe an issue that I don't want to deal with. So, if we retained all that... Plus throw in Kemp, who they want. Is that still going to say... Now it's saying league approved because we have the guys moved down. Okay. So that's approved now. And we have enough guys up in our NHL team to be able to deal with injuries. Not so much with a defenseman, but we should be able to move a guy up. That shouldn't be an issue. I'm not... I'm not I don't think it would be. Oops. Yeah, actually, we want to get a pick back if we can Ooh, so i'm i'm really tempted to pull the trigger on this trade it's a guy who can play center on that second line sure he might drop off along with um along with kane here but man we're not going to be paying him much their offensive stats will be pretty static they won't drop off a hell of a lot as compared to some of their other defense and physical categories it seems like a good move to do. Plus, we'll pick up, get a, get a, some extra picks here. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm I'm really tempted to do it. I'm really tempted to go through with it. It's just it it really does seem like a pretty damn good trade to make. Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I just sneeze right there. And I can't really get a, another third for it. I can try to get like Detroit's third. That might actually work. But I would rather get their third. Because they they shouldn't be that great of a team. That looks like a bit too much. But I could try for it. Oh, I think I should pull the trigger on it, man. Because Kemp is not a center, first of all. And he's not a guy who can lead a line. And I can't really play him on the wing. Because I got Besser and Kane. And that's what they're going to be. I think I got to pull the trigger on it, man. His, his, I don't think his point totals lied from last year or any other year. I mean, this was second line time, only 35 points. Third line time, only 28 points. Um, AHL, he did okay, but still, only 41 points in 76 games. When he's in the AHL, he should be killing it. His offensive stats just aren't there, man. I don't think it... We have better guys coming up, too, and we'll have replacements for him. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on this trade. Try to get a second and a third back as well for it. Because this guy's done at 86. He's, he's not going anywhere, and his offensive stats aren't going anywhere. So they want this guy. They want to give it Malkin. I'll try to get a second and a third in there as well. I can't get a first. That's just not going to work unless I, unless I give away some of our later picks, which I wouldn't be too opposed to if I can steal that first. But again, that first is going to be hard to get. They might not want to give it up. We have a few other picks here. Let's throw in our... We don't have our third anymore. I'd say we can throw in our second because we're hoping to be a very, very good team. Keep Chicago second. We have three firsts. Yeah, I'd prefer that, to be honest. Throw in our second. That's probably not enough. We might have to go in a third or another four or something. But we're going to try it anyway. Kemp in a second for Malkin. Retained salary and a first. Not quite. Value just isn't there. Okay, we'll try to throw in a bit more. I don't want to give a third. I'll try to give a fourth in, like our four. I could do with some of these later picks, like a four and a five here. 
We'll try to do that. Add in a four. Let's start with just a four. Keep going up until we can get something. I might have to do a few other later picks here. Like, I might have to just do a five and a six because they're saying I'm nowhere close. So, it's a lot, but I'm, I will be getting a first back here. Just isn't where it needs to be. So, I might not be able to get that first. It's a lot to get, man. I will admit that. Unless I can give up a third for it. But we only have one third at this point in Chicago's. I almost wanted to hold on to that. But if it gets me another first, why not get it? You know what I mean? So, let's try a second and a third to move up for that first then. And everything, a lot of things are matching the block. But the problem is, if they just don't want to give up that first, they won't give up that first. And uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. So let's try it, though. We're giving them back a young guy, some picks that they want. We're getting an older guy, and we're going to say we want to move up here for a first. Woefully insufficient. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. So we'll try to just pick up a second and something else for that. We'll try to get, like, a second and a third, which, again, probably won't work. But we're going to try that anyway. So Kemp for Malkin and a second and a third. We'll see if that will go through. The value on the table is too far off. I kind of want that second and the third, and I would move some fours for it because we have a couple fours. Let's throw in a four then and try to keep moving on up. Isn't sufficient at all, Kyle. All right, well, remove the third. I think the third's a bit much. I can try the lesser third and try to see if that'll work. Oh, now they're saying they're not comfortable retaining the salary. But that's not true because they were comfortable retaining the salary before. That means, actually, I think we're getting closer here. So let's throw in the four and try to move up for all that. They're not willing to retain salary. Shut the hell up. Yes, you are. We need you. We actually, we firmly need them to retain the salary. So I'll throw, I'll keep throwing in later picks because I really need them to, we actually need them to retain the salary to make that even go, go through. Okay. I do want this to work, so I'm going to keep throwing in later picks here until it goes through. We are moving up. Okay. Oops. Wrong. Wrong click. Didn't mean to click on that. So, at the mess I could throw in would be that seventh now. And I don't know if that's enough, because it's not saying I just need a little bit more from you. And I don't really want to move in a third. Okay, remove all those, remove the, remove the third, we can just try to get the second flat for it, and I, they might do that thing if we don't want to retain the salary. Yeah, that's, it might be tough, because they don't want to re retain any salary. I'll throw in more picks at this point. I really will, because, yep, there we go. Okay, so all it took was, I might have been able to go a little less than that for the fourth, but whatever, we still have another four. We did get Malkin, we did trade away Kemp, but again, he's not an offensive production machine, which we will need. So, he's not even good defensively, so it's, I, I never liked the guy, to be honest, man. So, we're going to make that trade, we're going to have an older, some older guys here, where you at? Oh. Come on. I have to bring him up or something? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Bring him up. I was, that was kind of weird. I never, I didn't expect him to get sent down to the minors. That usually doesn't happen. That kind of, I got a little worried for I wasn't going to let me bring him up. I was, don't, don't, don't tell anyone, but I was fucking freaking out in my head. I was like, please don't do that crap to me. But no, we're good. We're good. He could be moved up. Sub in all lines. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so... Here's what we're looking at now. Kane, Malkin, Besser as a second line. Horvat, Berchi, Stamkos as a first line. We're filthy, man. Okay. Um, now, I got Stoll. I think that'll work. We don't really need to put any of those guys on the point here for the power play. Oh, yeah. we're And that's what I'm actually going with. Uh, I'm trying to spread out some of the love here on the power play. So, we got Berchi, Stamkos, Kane. Even though that's three snipers. But if you look at Kane and Stamkos, they could pass like a hell of a lot. And I've seen three sniper combinations work very well on the five on five. So maybe it'll work for power play. And then we got um, Besser, Horvath, Malkin as a second unit. It could work. It could work here. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried he's listed to be his first line. He might. I don't think he'll lose morale. He might lose morale. We need to, we can shove them back up on a first power play line or something like that, but I don't think we'll need to. So, all right, let me uh, let me fix all these lines, get them all sorted, and uh, make sure everything's where I want it to be. Okay, so I got all the lines figured out the way I want. We'll probably do some switching around, like uh, 
not really like switching around, switching around, but um, uh, <laughs> like Latang might be switched out because he's listed to be depth every now and then. We'll see how he does. I might just leave him in for the entire time. I'm worried, you know, I am, I still got that worry about somehow ruining him because depth is really always hard to kind of judge, but we'll see, we'll see how he does. Varlamov, I love that he's already listed to be third line, so that's perfect. We throw him in there. He'll be perfect there. Um, so this is our, this is our lines we're going with here. All right. You can take a good look at them. I'll show you our power plays. I was thinking about maybe putting like Latang or something on the point on the power play, but Stoll is pretty damn good with those offensive stats. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on that. And Yule Levy, same thing. His pass is not that great, though. Um, but he's still pr pretty damn good. Uh, there's a four-man. I love our... I'll show you our extras, but uh, in a sec. Um, here's our penalty kill. I can see I got all my good defensemen on there. Tramkin making sure he gets time on there. All right, here's our extras. I freaking love this. Stamkos and Berchi, Horvat and Kane. <laughs> Malkin and Besser, like... Oh, that's that's actually super filth. There's our three on threes, and then our extra attack situation: Stamkos and Kane. Um, Stamkos because he's freaking amazing, and then Kane, of course, because he's got 96 poise. Who knows? Um, shootout lineups. <laughs> Here they are. Everyone's got really high deking and really good shots. So, yeah, goalie situation. That's the one point we could be like, oh, well, maybe it's not super strong, but they're both pretty young. Might be had a fantastic year last year. I'm thinking he could do the same this year. So. I think we'll get a bit of simming done, and then you guys can let me know about any changes you want to see made. So we got, so right now we got Saren Haimo and Delorier. I'll show you our scratches right now. Saren Haimo and Delorier are scratched. All right, we don't have any defensemen up here. I might, I was thinking about bringing one up. Like I could bring one up, uh, someone like Giftopolis, and I don't think that'd break the bank. I'm actually gonna check that right now. I just, I do want to make sure that we have the guys up here that we'll need for uh, possible depth. All right, so. Uh, here we go, and I'll check for defensemen, like, yeah, we'll have Giftopolis, two, three, and we still got a couple others here that could jump in on the AHL, so, I might just want to bring up, because I doubt, like, Giftopolis, I doubt he's going to get too much better, alright, he's sure he's still this to be minor top two, but his def defensive stats are okay, and he, I don't think he's going to get too, too much better, even if he plays the year in the minor. So I might just bring him up just to make sure that we won't get hit with any of that can't move players up and down stuff come the playoffs. Um, I don't think we will since it's not happening right now, but, you know, it's always, it's always a possibility. So, you know what? Let me move him up right now. I'm just going to move him up. We can have him sitting here as depth, and then we'll still have enough defensemen in the AHL to be able to do all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the HL. I want to make sure we have everything that we will need. Okay. Um, this guy's listed to be top six. I might just move him up. Yeah, he's got good enough offensive stats. So let's move him up there. And then we'll just throw in someone here. All right. Who? Kapakarainen or the other guy? Oh, uh, actually, I prefer Cousineau because he's got better chance to grow. This guy's red top six. This guy's yellow top six and younger. So let me throw in that guy. Yeah, we'll just do sub in all lines. He'll jump in there, play with Deneen. Nice offensive defenseman to get him some points. And we'll see how that works out for us. And then, of course, here's our goalie situation. I fixed up. I got the uh, special teams going a bit, but I'll show you our... Um, we got the Galliardi guy. And this is going to the league guy. I have him on second line for now, but I got him on the first line power play. So I don't want to overuse him, but I want to make sure he gets a good time. And I got him playing with Nova Seltsev here because he's like a sniper type guy he's also a guy who could break out he's 19 76 with red top nine so i want to give him the top top line here and see if he could maybe break him out as well try to get as many guys breaking out as possible it might not work but whatever we'll see what happens here galliardi should have a good year regardless i got him playing with elvinus he has a good shot should be able to bury some goals good offensive stats and london as well same kind of story good shot great offensive skills so we're gonna try to boost him up as much as possible and uh yeah. All right. So without further ado, I think we just get into the simming at this point. This is uh, this is what our team's gonna look like to start things off here. So, what's gonna happen? That's my question. I'm not too sure, but let me make sure injuries are off again. Yeah. Let me. I don't think I turned them back off, so I want to make sure they're back off and put on goalie rotating, whatever's automated goalie rotating rotations. There we go. So injuries back off. And rotate goalies back on. All right. How is this team going to do? 
<laughs> watch this just be completely bad. That would that would suck because we put we just put in so much work into making this team a Stanley Cup caliber team, something that could go deep and still be young at the same time. So we'll have to see what will happen here. So we're gonna get by the first month and a half thing as we always do, and we'll judge. Then after that we'll judge. <laughs> God damn. Oh please don't be bad, man. Just please don't be bad. It would be silly if we were bad, but I think the moves we made, it frees up cap for someone like Stamkos. That's an all-in move. Um, obviously, Malkin Kane are all-in moves as well, but Kemp was not an offensive player. Gaudreau didn't seem to click well. He, he You know what? He might have been an off year, but at the same time, we used him, what, a couple years in a row, and he never really seemed to do too well. Like, when he had 18 games played, but when, like, when we signed him at the deadline, he had, like, some, he only got, like, nine points in, like, 20-something games played, or something weird like that. So, it seemed like he was never crazy good for us, and we got a lot back for him. Like, we, we basically just secured our future. We have guys coming up, elites already coming up, we also got a bunch more picks. So, we're trying to go in for a cup run, but we also have a solid future still. So, that's what I'm liking about that. Not starting off too hot here. Um, one and two, but I, I have faith that this team will get it done, man. There's way too much offensive talent now on this team, along with a good defense. Hopefully our goaltenders remain true. And I think everything will start clicking. All I care about is us making the playoffs. If we can make the playoffs with this roster, we are destined for a deep run. If we're going to break the Vancouver curse, this is the, this is the fucking team to do it, man. This is the team to do it. Now I want to see us get on a nice little win streak here and stop losing these games. But, uh, yeah, we're in some close games. So that's good news. But I hate I hate losing those one-goal games without getting points. So there's a couple of those in there. But that's all right. As long as we can bank some wins right here, which we're having a bit of trouble doing. But like I said, man, as long as we make the playoffs, I'm okay with it. I just want to see us make the playoffs. That's what we got to do. Ooh, lost right there. We get a point at least, so it's not horrible. 6-4-1, not the best, not bad either. HL team's doing great. It's taking a while. It's probably going to tell me to scout. Yeah. I was like, why the hell is this taking so long? So we're going to scout a bunch here. All righty. Come on, guys. Let's get some wins here, Vancouver. There you go. Winning some games in the shootout, which we should, man. We have, like, amazing shootout performers, man. All right. So looks like we're getting back on top of things, which is good news. We need to get as good as we can. Good. Stamkos beat his former team there. It seems like we're not scoring a huge, huge amount, though, which is a bit um, funny considering how much offense I was bragging about us having. But we're still winning, so I'm not too concerned. I think we'll get big goals come the playoffs. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there we go. Now, now we're winning some games. We're getting it together here. All right, we lose, but we get a point out of that, so I'm not even mad. Now come back with a win here. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're... we're, we're we're coming together now. Vancouver's starting to figure it out. And that's great because we need we need to have a good year. All right, there's a one goal loss right there, but it's not the end of the world. Let's get a few more wins here to end out this month. A nice shutout right there. Ooh, big loss right there to the Sharks. But can we turn things around here? Ooh, a couple losses in a row there. But that's all right. 15-7-2. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's actually pretty damn good we're more than doubling we have more we have almost double wins as we do regulation losses i'm not a fan of our locker room chemistry which is around 80 but that should improve a bit all right we're first in the division so that's always good and stamkos leading in points it makes a whole lot of sense we'll check that in a sec we'll check all the point totals i want to see how we're doing here uh could score a bit more, and we could keep the puck out of the net a bit better, but it's an okay ratio right now. I, I do want a bit more scoring and want our defense to improve a bit, but we're all power play. That's that's actually shocking to me. I thought our power play would be a lot better. I mean, maybe I tried to spread things out a bit too much, but I actually thought maybe it's the three sniper thing that won't quite work. I might need to switch that up. Yeah, I might have to switch that stuff up. Okay. Um, pen Ooh, even our, penalty, our special teams in general is not doing good. That's That's shocking to me. Penalty kill mostly, because we got really good, mm, interesting. All right, well, we're still doing pretty good. Not so much on home, but really good on the road. 
Our special teams could use some improvement, so we'll have to take a look at those. We'll probably switch up that power play and stuff again. But let's see how individually some players are doing. Stam Coast, 20 points, and so is Patrick Kane. That's 20 points. Berici, 17. Malkin, 15. Varlam. What the hell? Third line Varlam. Holy fuck. 12 goals on that third line. Horvat could improve a bit. Definitely, because he's got first line time, man. What the hell's going on? Hmm. Interesting. And, yeah, that's a bit interesting. But then Bastard's also down there as well. All right. Okay. Yeah, th that third line, though. That's insane. Meyer, that, th <laughs> that third line, though. Wow, interesting. Let's just focus on the forwards here first. Granlund, Gianta's got seven points. Latang's got six. He's playing on the fourth line. Still list to be depth. So we could switch him out and stuff like that. Uh, Kreider taking a lot of penalties. What's new? All right, defensively, Hutton. Yeah, our defense scoring is slacked off. Ooh, what the? Why are they minus? Oh, it's our first line seems to be doing some weird stuff here. Why are they minuses? They've never been minuses, man. Bit interesting right there. It's a bit interesting. Stamco seems to be doing fine. It's just Horvat seems to be dropping the ball a bit. Yeah, our first line could improve. I think we do a little bit of... Yeah, I'm not too sure because they're all, they're all even or minuses, which is kind of weird. It's actually really weird why they're like that. Not too sure why exactly. At least this guy's got good chemistry with Otter Eyes. Let me see here. What's going on with that? He's got good chemistry with Stamkos. So I, I kind of don't want to split them up. Maybe put Stamkos in the middle. But like, I don't know. Same time, like, not too sure about that. It's, we it's weird to me because they're all really good. Oh, well, we're winning, so I'm not I'm not too, too concerned. It's just a little weird. Especially, this is what was weird to me, man. The plus minuses of our top defensive pairing. That's what's weird to me, because they've always been super solid. So, maybe just having a rough start. Everyone else is doing really good. Yeah, Stoll is getting a few points there. Plus player, same with Trampkin. Good Branson, you will levy really good on the plus minus. Our first line, though, that seems to be a weird, weird spot here. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like Otterai is getting a few extra starts there. That's not what's supposed to happen. Yeah, and Maltby's killing it. So, yeah. Bit weird how Otterai is getting more extra starts because he shouldn't be. I mean, he's the he's listed to be the backup. I got him there. He's unfortunately getting more starts here. And it might just keep continue. He, it might just keep trending like that because, yeah, they're both even overall. But Maltby's doing fantastic. I wish I might switch. I might switch off. I might go and switch off uh, automated goalie rotations to rotate them manually because this is this is a kind of touchy situation. Malby's clearly the better goalie. Otherwise, is the backup. We need him to play more backup minutes. So I think I might switch to that. I might switch to um, manual. I might just do all the goalie rotations manually here. It'll take more time, but it'll be better. All right. So let me know about that. What do you guys think is wrong with our first line? You think they're just having a weird start right now, or um, or what? I mean, we could always move Malkin up. And Kane's, like, getting assists. Malkin's getting goals. So what we could do is always move Malkin up to the top line, move down Horvat, and try that out. We, could always, we have a lot of options because we have so many good players everywhere. We could, we could try a lot of stuff out here. So let me know about any possible changes. And uh, let me know about switching out. Um, obviously, I think we're going to, you know, scratch Latang for a while, put in, like, Serenheim or something like that because I don't want, you know, Latang to get too, too much gameplay in here. But, yeah. I want him to get depth time, and I, I don't know. Uh, it's just, these guys, it's weird when it happens like this. I'm not too sure. Ooh, he's got low locker room chemistry with Kane and Malkin, which is not too great. Huh, interesting. Okay. But what I'm really happy with, what surprised the hell out of me, was uh, Varlamov. He doesn't have any assists, man, but he's scoring some goals here. <laughs> I don't care, man. He's, a, he's supposed to be a goal scorer. He is, that was off, those offensive categories should get better over time. But he's uh, performing pretty well so far. All right, so there you have it. Let me know about any possible changes. You know, it's just anything that we can maybe try to boost up our team overall. But we're winning, so that's great for the most part. We are winning. And I also didn't show the awards, so I'll do that real quick before we do anything else. I'll probably check the progress reports in the next one. Um, we're, just, we're all running out of time. I'll see what else I can do. I'll see as much as I can do. We got the presidents last year. Doesn't matter. Didn't get anything else. All right. Tavares still taking on. Yeah, that's that Ty Smith guy. Um, 
a lot of Oilers, Oilers, Islanders taking over, uh, taking home some hardware here. Yes, Maltby. <laughs> Maltby got the win William N. Jennings, dude. See? That's how good. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy's not grown. Yeah, I think I got to do uh, manual goalie rotations, man. Selkie went to Matthews. Interesting. Yeah, Tavares took home a shit ton of hardware there. Who got the Calder again? Oh, it was that Dillman guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking maltby yeah i think i'll go to, i think we should let me know about manual goalie rotations let me know about any possible changes uh progress reports i guess i'll check those real quick i'm like this is gonna be such a long episode though oh man i already, I, I even clicked on the wrong spot you know what? i'm gonna save the progress reports till next time because i want to take a good look at them i don't want to rush through them so i'll check that out first thing next episode please remind me because i will forget all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one